Domo Amejin des. Welcome to the 15th lecture in this beginning Japanese series. Um, today we're going to do an assessment. Um, and in to assess yourself, you need to review everything that we have studied so far in all the previous lectures. Um, how are we going to do this? You're going to open up the worksheet for this lecture, the uh, 15th worksheet. Um, you're going to take it by yourself and then you're going to grade yourself. It's very important that you test yourself along the way. Uh, without assessments, how can you tell <laughs> where you are and how well you are learning? Um, it also helps you to review all the content that we studied up to this point uh, so that, you know, you don't forget it. Um, basically, download the worksheet. You can print it. You can just take it on your computer. It is a PDF file, so you can type in your own answers right there. Um, and then I'm going to have, of course, all the answers as a separate uh, worksheet corresponding to that. So <laughs> there is a lot I have to say in, in this particular video about the assessment. Um, it is for you, okay, just to measure your own abilities thus far. And everything on the assessment will be from, you know, all the lectures that I've done uh, up to this point. So lectures 1 through 14, all that content will be on this assessment. Nothing else, no outside material. Um, if there is some outside stuff, it's to kind of trick you or to uh, see how well you do with information that you've never come across. So the stuff that I do throw in from the outside, you're not supposed to know. It's not intentional. But uh, you, could find, you could find some things that you weren't supposed to know. On this assessment. Um, this assessment is based on the Japanese language proficiency test, the JLPT, uh, the lowest level. There are five levels, okay, uh, N5, N4, N3, N2, N1, and N5 is the lowest, easiest level, and that's for basic, very basic beginners, which you are if you're following this lecture series. Um, normally with the JLPT, there are three sections from the N5 to the N3. JLPT N2 and N1 only have two sections, but the N5, N4, and N3 have three sections. Um, the, first two, the first section is vocabulary and characters, or kanji, if you want to call them that. Um, and then the second section is grammar and reading. Okay, And the third section is listening, but I can't really do listening through a worksheet, so I decided to just omit that section entirely and the worksheet only focuses on the first two sections of the real JLPT vocabulary and characters and grammar and reading okay um, the, the real JLPT has timed sections they time it I believe it's 25 minutes for characters and vocabulary and then 50 minutes for grammar and reading I follow that uh, time allotment and I actually write it on the worksheet. You will see you have 25 minutes to complete this. You have 50 minutes to complete this section. There are two sections, okay? Um, you don't have to follow those time recommendations, but I highly recommend you do, okay? The more you take these assessments, the more um, that you become acquainted with the actual JLPT. This assessment is really based on and modeled after the real JLPT. Okay, so you're going to have separate mondai or problems with individual uh, questions in each of those mondai. So there are sections and then there are mondai sections and in those mondai sections you have a bunch of questions. Now, I did make enough questions to the point that you will have to take up pretty much all the time that is allotted in each section. So yes, you might want to allot, you might want to use all 25 minutes in the vocabulary and character section. And yes, you might want to use all 50 minutes in the grammar and reading section, okay? Um, also, the standards for passing and failing the JLPT are the same. I mean, you don't have to follow these standards because this is really just a self-assessment. But for me, since I modeled it after the JLPT, I'm going to stick with JLPT standards for passing and failing. Um, to pass a section, you need 32%, well, 32% or higher in that section, okay? Um, as long as you have that for the whole test, you should be fine, but I highly recommend you shoot for 100% anyway. <laughs> um, the actual JLPT uses a separate 
answer scoring sheet, a marking sheet. I'm not going to be that official, but um, you can just, you know, if you print out the worksheets, there's a lot of pages actually, because it is a big test. It's a lot of pages, so you don't have to print it. I recommend using just your computer, typing in your answers, circling it on your computer or whatever. Um, uh, and the answer sheet that I provided for the corresponding assessment for every corresponding ass assessment from here on out will show you which lecture this content comes from, okay, so that you can do reference and recheck yourself. Um, there are two sections, as I've said. Once you finish one section, you cannot go back to the other section because the JLPT is so smart. They know that they test you vocabulary and characters first. Everything is basically in hiragana or katakana, okay, and no kanji. But if you go to the grammar and reading section, there's a bunch of kanji with furigana, don't worry. So you'll be able to read everything. There's a bunch of kanji, but they don't want you to, you know, go back and maybe find a reading uh, if they're testing you specifically on a kanji's reading, something like that. So don't go back to a previous section uh, if you've passed it. Finally, um, this is a long test, right? 25 minutes plus 50 minutes, that's over an hour. Um, what I'm going to do in the next video in this series is I'm going to take the test. All right, I'm going to do that every 15th lecture. Every 15th lecture will be an assessment. This is just the first one, okay? And every 15th lecture video will be me just blazing through this test. All right, I don't have over an hour right? So I'm just going to quickly blaze through it. It'll probably take 30 minutes or more to just answer each question and provide a very brief explanation as to why I chose an answer for each um, question. Now, because I am blazing through it, I cannot thoroughly explain why this is so, why that's so. I also provide links to the lecture for where this content comes from, where this question comes from, so that you can do research yourself and figure out why that's the answer. Um, if you can't find an answer or if you're not satisfied with a particular answer, you can always comment on that video saying, hey, section, uh, listening set, or not listening, grammar section, question, or Mondai 1, question 34, why isn't the answer 2, you know? And then I'll just give you a more thorough explanation in the comment section below. As I said before, because this is the first assessment, um, I'm going to have this explan explanatory video <laughs> before it. And then the very next video in my um, playlist will be me just blazing through that um, assessment. Please don't watch that video first. Please take the assessment yourself first. And then you can watch the video and grade yourself, final answers, stuff like that. Otherwise, that's it, guys. Um, good luck. Be sure to time yourself if you can and uh, review all the material before you start.